All right, so we did anti-dihydroxylation. Now we're going to do syn-dihydroxylation. And syn, as you know, means it goes on the same side. Okay? So we're going to do this with osmium tetroxide. You see an OS in the middle there and four oxygens. Okay? Osmium tetroxide, it comes up and makes an association on the same side of this double bond. So that is why it's syn addition right there. And we're going to um, do this in the presence of sodium, sulf uh, sodium sulfite. <laughs> Sorry, sodium sulfite or sodium bisulfite. Got my head lost there for a second. Okay, either or, right? Sodium sulfite or sodium bisulfite or hydrogen sulfite, right? So you need to recognize those. And uh, it's important to appreciate that we are going to, and alternatively, right? Since osmium tetroxide is expensive and toxic, we're going to use a catalytic amount of osmium tetroxide, and we're actually going to put some NMO in there, right? I don't think you're going to need to remember the structure of NMO. Uh, well, actually, if I gave you that, right, or NMO in OSO4, you would need to know, right? OSO4 osmium tetroxide. You would need to know what those were, okay? But I wouldn't ask you to draw out the structure of um, of uh, NMO. Would not ask you to draw the structure out of that. Alternatively, we could use this uh, peroxide, okay? Tert. I don't even know the name of that. It's a tert butyl, right? You can see that. But osmium tetroxide with this peroxide, both of those work uh, pretty well to give syn dihydroxylation. Um, I don't think I want to, oh yeah, permanganate, okay, so this is, I thought we were going to go through the mechanism here, which I don't want to do. So, we also have uh, permanganate, which we can get from potassium permanganate. This is not as good, it does do synhydroxylation, you can see that, right, there's my synhydroxylation. It does do, uh, it does work nicely under mild conditions, such as cold temperatures, however, it's limited because it reacts with other things as well. So it's, this, is, this is a very strong oxidizer, and it's not, as, um, it's not as selective as osmium tetroxide. So there's a couple more reactions that you need to memorize, and uh, they're going to be useful to us if we are looking to get syn dihydroxylation.